Standing to wax his snowboard, Tyler Mosher has overcome the unimaginable. I was never supposed to walk again. On December 30, 2000, Mosher broke his back while snowboarding after falling 10 meters and landing on the top of his head. My back exploded, L1 vertebrae totally exploded like a grenade going off in your body. It ended up being an incomplete injury and uh, you know I got back the muscles that enabled me to walk, although I'm still medically 40% paralyzed below the waist. Preparing his board to head up on the mountain for training, this world champion adaptive snowboarder will represent Canada during the 2014 Paralympics, the first time the adaptive sport will be included in the Games. I was in the legislature with Rick Hansen uh, May 2nd, 2012, when the announcement came out, and I was elated uh, that snowboarding got named to the 2014 program. Um, and in many ways, I won my gold medal on that day. Stacking his bones as though he's walking on stilts, Mosher heads down the 100 steps from his house. Just getting to the mountain is a feat in itself, but one that he's proud to say he's able to do. It's a tough go because realistically everyone's telling you that you're going to need to be in a wheelchair. And um, it's, it's upsetting, but you don't... You don't dwell on what you don't have, you get through by looking at what you do have. This won't be his first Paralympic Games. Mosher's cross-country rehabilitation led him to compete for Canada on home turf in 2010. The goal then was not to win a medal, but gain experience as a Paralympic athlete that would help him put snowboarding in the forefront of adaptive sports. I was constantly pursuing uh, the development of racing for the disabled in snowboarding so that it would be funded at the grassroots level so that children living with a disability who wanted to snowboard with their friends would have the opportunity to snowboard. Thirteen years after his accident, Mosher is going for the real gold. Constantly working on his technique, snowboarding isn't as easy as it once was. He must be focused, completely in tune with his mind, body and board, telling his muscles exactly what to do. He must train hard so that when race day comes, Mosher can simply look through his lens and go as fast as he can. I'm going there as a frontiers person and a pioneer for adaptive snowboarding. I'm going there to represent my country, but I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going there to win. From Whistler, I'm Heather Butts for Shaw TV.